I had recently arrived in Thailand and taken a train down the coast from Bangkok to Hua Hin, a city with around 65,000 people located in the Gulf of Thailand. It's a famous tourist destination in Thailand full of hotels, despite not having much of the iconic limestone cliffs and clear ocean water. But there is very affordable living right on the beach. I was currently in a big apartment complex with a gym and swimming pool, not far from the beach at all. Hello everybody, welcome to another video. I am here in Hua Hin in Thailand. It's uh, about a four hour train or bus ride south from Bangkok. I came to Thailand recently and uh, I started my travels in Bangkok and then um, came here on the train. The train was quite slow. But this city seems really nice. I've seen a lot of nice condos like this. I'm staying here in uh, a little uh, studio apartment. I think I paid $30 per night. But I've also seen that um, in this area of Thailand you can stay in condos like these for maybe five or six or seven hundred dollars a month, which is really nice. I'm here about um, a couple of minutes walk from the beach. And uh, in this video I'll be showing you what it's like to live here. And also this whole apartment complex and the surrounding areas in the city of Hua Hin. I'm gonna start out by showing you the apartment complex here where I am and then we will be working our way down to the beach and also over to the city of Hua Hin. The apartments are really modern here. Here in this one I have a little nice kitchen, a couch and also a TV, a pretty nice uh, toilet, a shower and also a little balcony. And right outside is huge swimming pool and nice gym. So I'll be going to the gym real quick and also jumping in and cooling off in the swimming pool. I was just a bit south from Bangkok and also in the middle part of the peninsula that sticks down to the south of Thailand. I had also seen that the apartment complexes seemed really modern in this part of Thailand. This part right here I think is the best part. We have a huge swimming pool here and also the gym on top over here. I'll be heading up there now and then jumping in and cooling off. We can jump from there but it's quite shallow in the pool so we'll see what we're gonna do. Hello! Here on top we also have a pretty good view of the whole complex and also a golf course on this side and then the beach over here. So here is the gym, quite modern. I really like that about apartment complexes. When you have a swimming pool and a gym right outside your door, that's the best thing I know. And also plus if there's a grocery store nearby. There is a 7-Eleven here also, all over Thailand you have a 7-Eleven, which is really good. Oh, I've been doing some bicep curls here. Bicep curls and shoulders. I'm starting to feel quite sweaty and also a really good feeling. No pain, no gain, yeah! Now we're gonna do some sprints here on the straightaway. Sometimes it's a bit hard to stay motivated to keep working out. I have a lot of times just not worked out so much, but uh, I'm feeling motivated today. So we're gonna do some sprints. Go for about 100 or 130 meters, then walk or jog back and go again a few times. 
Oh, I did a few sprints. Now cool off in the swimming pool. Let's see if we can jump from the top here now without being busted. We have one swimmer here. I think uh, I'm gonna have to go when she's on the way over to the other side so she won't see it. I was getting ready to jump but had to watch out so the swimmer and the guy on the ground wouldn't see. For some reason people like to snitch on pool tricksters. If you want to jump into shallow swimming pools then you have to land a bit backwards so that your feet extend forward. Quite shallow here, four feet maybe. <laughs> I did hit my feet a bit when I landed. <laughs> Oh, but it's so nice here. Cool off. It's gonna cool off. Oh. We have to go inside and eat something now. The tricks have been completed for today. So, uh, actually, so that I don't have to cook, I bought these meals from 7-Eleven. It's really good. Look, I have my fridge is full. Here is like a ready meal, pasta, uh, chicken, pork, some more chicken. So, one of these is 40 baht. That's like a dollar. And, um, yeah, it's just like, uh, tastes the same as from the restaurant. So, I saved some time. I don't have to go to the restaurant. I just put it in the microwave and it's done already. Very good. Oh, Very good, very good food from 7-Eleven. <laughs> it's actually better than the restaurant sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also have some milk, they have milk at 7-Eleven. Yeah, this is the milk, half a liter, 18 baht. Mm. Soy. Almost better than the Lala milk I was drinking in Mexico all the time. Oh, about the same, I think. Ah. Also, good thing I didn't get busted after jumping. Sometimes you can get busted. When I lived in Greece, I jumped from the roof there. And uh, three of the other people living in the apartment complex had called the owner. So I got one warning and the next time I would be out. Kicked out. But here, there has been no warnings so far. Coming out again here and we're gonna be taking the bus over to Huahin. I am a bit south of Huahin here, so we have to take the bus over there. Pre-sale for apartments, they're selling apartments here. And also the beach is just a few minutes from where I'm staying, over there. Neighborhood here, all the cars I'm seeing are really nice and they all have tinted windows. Only nice cars here and really, really dark tint on the windows. Sometimes I wonder how the electricity works here when all the wires look like this here. I was on my way into town and would take the bus all the way along the beach and further down the coast. How much do I pay? Uh, 10 baht. 10 baht, okay. One thing. Here, I'm gonna go in the green bus to Huahin.
10 baht for this bus into Hua Hin with the taxi I paid 200 the other day then, so 20 times more I have to buy a drink it's so hot here hello where do you come from Chiang Mai Chiang Mai yeah. ah, North Thailand yeah. ah. <laughs> how long do you stay here in uh, Hua Hin one, one day only one day I come here yesterday ah. oh, I got my milk <laughs> Good. Um, I came out of the um, bus and now I have to find some cash or uh, get some cash from an ATM and then head down to the beach and see what the beach looks like and then eat some Thai food Thai food here we have one bank Digitai Solution by GSB I think the other one here seems more uh, legit Sa Siam Commercial Bank I'm gonna try this one here instead you have to decline the conversion otherwise you get screwed always decline the conversion thousand baht so I got 8,000 baht I'm not sure actually exactly how much that is um, I think almost two hundred dollars or so here we have a lot of uh, stores you can buy some stuff here on the way down to the beach but I think the tourist season is over the high season is like uh, November, December, January, February. Now it's like low season. Oh, coffee. Maybe I should buy some coffee here. Coffee man. It's too hot for coffee. <sighs> Ice cream. Uh -huh. Hey, you can go. I have arrived out here to the beach. Uh, there's some clouds here now, so it's a bit more chilly. But really nice. There must be a couple of hundred people here nice temperature we have a nice breeze now oh, really nice breeze and here comes a shirt from John here uh, when I came out from the beach really nice 250 baht. <laughs> very good thank you I'm still looking for a restaurant I want to go to a restaurant where I can sit inside uh, inside hello do you have uh, Thai food here yeah. Thai food okay what is uh, a typical Thai food what is something that is good here? Uh, Thai, something famous for Thailand. Mm -hmm. Pad Thai. Pad Thai. Okay. Yeah, I'll try this before. Maybe you have something else. Uh, tom Yam Kum. Tom Yam Kum. Yeah. Ah. Tom Yam Kum. Okay. It's chicken or or do you have something with chicken maybe? With chicken. Uh. Well, I came in here to this restaurant and I ordered some uh, chicken with cashew nuts. Uh, actually, I'm allergic to nuts, but I can eat cashew nuts for some reason. <laughs> I 
also it's quite empty here in this city now for some reason it's because it's off season <laughs> and uh, I haven't seen all that many people no not many foreigners mostly Thai got the food here uh, some chicken and cashew nuts and I think there's also um, some onion in here onion and some kind of uh, salad I think and my coca-cola <laughs> There's also mushroom here, and this mushroom and some kind of chili. It was so spicy when I. Oh, this is the chili. So uh, 245 baht for uh, the chicken and two portions of rice and Coca-Cola. That's pretty cheap, actually. Quite a good price for uh, this really good food. Huahin was not that much of a great success. I feel like in the next video I'll be. Uh, going to one of the islands I think instead that should be nice I should be able to meet some uh, other travelers there hopefully if you want to talk to one so the bus was 10 baht and uh, tuk tuk or a taxi is 200 for the same distance thank you Let's walk home. Let's walk home. Oh. My teeth are starting to hurt. Too much Coca-Cola and milk. I think the milk here has a lot of sugar. <laughs> the Wi-Fi has been so good here in Thailand. 150 megabits per second minimum usually in every hotel I've been but all, I've also been in good hotels but I think overall the um, Wi-Fi speed is really fast here oh, no. oh. what are we gonna do now that's the question I've been inside for two minutes maybe we go for a run again I did some laundry earlier in the uh, toilet or no <laughs> not in the toilet in the shower and here my shirts are drying up now and my shorts here we have and then this one also and this it was a good day I came back and um, I might go running again actually I didn't run that many sprints earlier <laughs> and in the next video I have to meet some more people that's one bad thing about traveling um, when you're traveling by yourself you don't always meet people in the places where you go sometimes you get to a place and there are a lot of cool people there uh, in your age but sometimes you see no people so uh, I'll be going to an island probably in the next video and I should be meeting some more people there I'm gonna stay on the beach probably in um, maybe a hostel but get my own like hotel room in the hostel Usually in the past I stayed in hostels when I didn't have much money, uh, but I don't like to, when you have to sleep in the same uh, <laughs> same room as other people. That's horrible. Uh, <laughs> but I did meet a lot more people when I traveled that way because uh, you would sleep like eight or ten people in one room, and you get to meet some. You got to meet so many people, but uh, then you also risk losing all your stuff because somebody might steal it. But this is the end of the video and thanks for watching. Next video maybe should be more exciting. So as always, leave this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And even if you didn't like it, then leave it a thumbs up anyways. And also post a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. So see you in the next video, my friends. See you in the next video. See you next time. See you next time. See you next time.